Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jen with Coffee Jory and Jokes. Anyway, this is like take 532 of box nine from Shopka Will. I'm trying to get it right. I made uh, two videos of box eight and they were a disaster. So I made them private so nobody can see them. So I'm gonna try this again. I just want to do it right. I want you guys to enjoy it. And hopefully we'll find something cool. It doesn't have to be silver or gold, but hopefully we'll find something cool in this mess. It's like six pounds. And my cat's trying to get my coffee. Go, girl. So anyway, let me throw my cat a treat. And then we'll start. I'm sorry the box is already open. I like opening it with you guys, but... And she won't go. But anyway, um, what was I going to say? Oh, here's my coffee. This was in a previous video. I meant to show you my new one, but I forgot. So anyway, like I said, hopefully we'll find something cool. And I wanted to let you know that I'm selling on YouTube now as well. So if you guys see anything, send me a message in the comments and you can buy it. I have a PayPal set up and a link. So if you see something, just like I said, leave me a comment and then you can just click on the link to pay and I'll ship it to you. So anyway, here's the reason I got the box in the first place. I saw this bracelet and I thought it was sterling silver and Native American. And let me get this, let me get the focus right because I don't want it to be out of focus. Hold on. Okay. So it turns out this was a best brand. It's somewhere on here. Best brand. There it is. Wait. I don't know. It's somewhere on here. Um, yeah, it was a best brand neck or a bracelet. And then this was also in the lot. And I didn't see this in the pictures, but it's also best. Kit, what are you doing? What are you doing? My cat just startled me. Sorry, guys. It's like late at night, and I hate being here by myself, but I am. So anyway, okay, so back to this. So these might still have some value, but even if not, they're cute. And they have the Native American vibe going on. So I'll set those aside. So that's the first thing. Now. I found this necklace in box eight and it's a Stella and Dot. I thought it was cool. I don't know when this was made. It might've been like early 2000s, maybe 90s. I don't know. I don't even know when they got started, do you guys? But anyway, it's nice and it's in perfect condition. I do have it listed on eBay, but if anyone's interested, let me know. All right, and then we have this hematite necklace. A little smudged but it's in really good condition and it has a silver tone barrel clasp it's about 16 inches I mean, let me zoom out a little all right all right next we have some um copper colored bangles nothing to write home about look at this though this is awesome i love this ring that's a statement ring if I ever saw one. And it's pretty. It looks like something um, that was in the Art Nouveau period. Now, I get that mixed up with Art Deco sometimes. But to me, it looks more like Art Nouveau. It just, it's really pretty. And it's like an antique gold color. It has seed pearls. Wait, let me show you up close. Seed pearls. And there's one missing, but I can fix that. And then little green rhinestones but it's in good condition look at the band it's a little dark underneath but other than that it's really cool so there's that one this is kind of i'm gonna say it it's kind of a joke but there is a sterling chain all tied up in there and I have to get that out. These are plastic. 
and that's just a silver tone chain. It's very long. So I don't know if anybody is interested in something like this. I could be wrong. You might absolutely love it. But there's that. So who knows? You might want it. I never know what people will like. And then there's this pearl necklace. It's hand knotted with a box clasp. I don't think they're real, but they're weighty. They're cool, but they're not really rough. So I'm imagining they're just glass. Yeah, it's in good shape though. And then we have this little stretchy bracelet with beads. It's just a simple stretch bracelet with some muted tones. So there's that. Here is like a boho stretch bracelet. This reminds me of a friend I had in college. She wore something like this on her ankle and you could always hear her coming. I'm like, oh gosh, Chris is on her way. So that's that. It has some tin coins. It's kind of fun. I don't know. Reminds me of something someone would wear at like a music festival. But there's that. Next we have these. I'm going through these fast because wood is not my thing. But it might be something you like. I don't know. It looks like these were made by the same person. They have these big brown wood, wooden balls. And this has little yellow beads. And they both have the same knot at the top. So there's those. We had furniture when I was a kid that was this color. That's what it reminds me of our furniture. Very dark. All right, here, this is a cool ring. Look at this one. That feels like ceramic. That cabbage on there. And the outside band is pretty intricate, but it has a lot of tone loss. Still interesting. At one time it was all gold around here. So that's a fun ring. And then we have a mixed material necklace. Plastic red beads and wooden beads. That's going into the craft box. Because I can't imagine I'll have people knocking down my door for that one. Oh, here's an earring. This must go with the wooden necklace. Put that there. This kind of reminds me of an old Lisner bracelet these are black plastic cabochons let me see if there's anything written in it most likely not no so this is a wannabe Lisner bracelet I don't know when this was made I'm thinking hmm I don't know, it looks like, it reminds me of like the 70s. I just can't tell. So there's that. It's in good shape. All right, next we have these two metal bangles and they have uh, little seed beads between the metal pieces. Wait, can you see that? One is a copper color. Actually, they both look kind of coppery. If that's even a word. So there's that. This is a cute earring. I'll see if I have the other one, but it looks like it's handmade. I like the colors. It's just a little plastic flower and some blue seed beads. It's just cute. I think it's cute. And we have this beaded bracelet. It's not really stretchy. Black. There's that. Here is an art glass necklace. Listen. Red and white. Reminds me of a candy cane. And it has this big pendant on the end. With a silver 
tone lobster clasp and no maker. And the tag is not a maker, it's just a, a price thing, price tag, without the price. All right, here's a piece of fabric and there is a chain wrapped around it that is broken. Well, not really broken, just there's nothing on it. And it's not gold or silver. Just a random chain. Wait, I can't get this off. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. No, it's not. Look. Like, who makes this? Would you make this? Please help me understand. Help me understand that. <laughs> really. Look. Like, what is that? What is that? What is that? Explain. This is what I don't like to get in the boxes. But I get them anyway. Ugh. All right. Let's see what's next. We have this glass bead necklace on a thin silver tone wire with little spacer, silver tone spacer beads. I watched a video about beads the other day and the girl shooting the video said what the name of these is and I can't remember, but they attach on the ends. So I'll have to watch that again and figure it out. And this necklace, not that you care, but it's probably about Mm, 16 inches, maybe, maybe, maybe. Here, let me, I need to get a drink, hold on. Mm. All right, what's here? This is kind of neat. Look at this yellow bead necklace. I kind of like yellow, I don't know, it's fun. That's kind of cool. It's on a gold tone chain. I can't tell if it has much tone loss, but the lighting in here is not great. But that's cool. The beads are really bright. And um, let's see, that's probably about 16 inches, but it has this extender on it, so it can be much longer. That's kind of fun. All right, what do we have next? I don't get this. Look at this one. Somebody attached that to the bottom of this chain. The chain kind of reminds me of a rosary. The beads are really pretty. They're faceted and I think they're crystals. And this bead on the end is cold. It almost looks like silver, doesn't it? Not that you can answer me, but it looks like silver, but I don't think it is. Let me look at the clasp. Yeah, no. I'll have to take this off though, cause that's just not good. That, that detracts from the, um, what do you, I don't even know what to say about this, but it detracts from the simplicity of this. That's what I was looking for. So there's that one. All right. Here are some faux pearls with gold tone beads. Here is the clasp. And I don't know why it has that other piece on it. Oh, you know why? Cause it's detached from the other side. I can't get it. Well, anyway, I'm not gonna fool with it. They're supposed to resemble, what are those pearls called? The real long ones. I'm trying to remember. I had some like it. I don't know. Anyway, I'm sure you guys know. 
wish I could remember. Like sea pearls? Salt water? I don't know. Just ignore me. Alright. And here we have a tangled mess. I'm trying to figure out what all this is. These pearls feel real. But I can't say if they are. And uh, you know what? Are they attached? Wait. I'm getting it. Let me take the earring off here. What is that? Are they attached? I cannot tell. Oh no. I hope this isn't like a multi-strand necklace. I do not understand that when they mix pearls with metal. Pearls look nice by themselves, in my opinion. But the, it looks like that's what they did. Or I could be wrong and it's just connected because it's twisted. Hold on, I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, I think it's all one. Let me get this earring off. There's another chain wrapped around it too. What is that? <sighs> Do you guys buy necklaces that are like mixed with several different kinds of materials? Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Look. Here is the clasp. Yeah, that's what it is. Let me see if there's a tag on here. I just want to get it connected first. And I take a while with these videos just to let you know. Because as I'm going along, I'm trying to figure stuff out. So bear with me, please. Because as you watch, you might see something awesome that you want. Or you may learn something. All right. There is no maker's mark. But there's a leaf attached and some pearls that actually feel kind of real. But they're not. I think they're glass. So there's that one. All right, let me zoom out a little so you can see better. Okay, here's a stretchy bracelet with some clear beads and some green beads that look kind of like jade. I don't think they are though. Wait. There you go. There's that. This isn't looking too good so far. I might just have to splurge and get a really big box, you know, because I buy these smaller lots and then I wind up spending the same thing anyway on multiple boxes. Yeah. So this is a really small lot and not looking too good. And there is a dolphin twisted up in this other necklace. Here is the brown bead earring. Let's see what I got. This necklace is um, not glass. There's, I don't know, looks like, oh, there was an earring attached. I don't know if that belongs on there, but look. There's a heart on the bottom of this. And yes, yeah, somebody connected it. Ugh. That is going in the craft box. Yeah, that's all. Wait. Did they connect it? Yes. That's all one. All right, 
There's another bracelet. I mean necklace. I always say bracelet when I mean necklace. And vice versa. These are really sparkly. Wow. They are really sparkly. But it's just on a silver tone chain. So there's that. Please excuse me if I sound depressed. I just want to get a good lot. I don't even know what to say about that one. Come on. This is pretty. It's just a black stretch. They look like crystals. That's nice. Does anybody want a scarecrow? Ugh. Here's a pink stretch bracelet. Man, I paid like $26 for this. I think this is probably the worst one yet. Here's the other earring. Look, you can have a pair of scarecrows. Actually, somebody might want these for Halloween. I will sell those. This is cool. Look at that. It's missing a rhinestone, but I might have one. Look at the filigree work on that. Can you see that? Wait. Look at that. But look at the band. It's just a adjustable band. Wait, it says something inside. I'll have to look in there. Let's see what this says. It says, ooh, check, Slovakia. That's neat. Oh man, I've got to find another rhinestone. This is from Czechoslovakia. Oh, I like that. Even though the um, stone is plastic, <laughs> that's a neat one. So that's something. Does anybody want a dolphin for crafting? Because this is going in the craft lot. There you go. Just give me one piece in here that is worth the box. I think that bracelet I got and the pendant are worth the box in themselves, so in and of themselves. Okay. What is that? Is that Premier Designs? Can someone tell me? Yes, I think it is. I don't know. It has... Look, this is one side. Wait. And that's the, other, that's the same thing. Is that the symbol for Premier Designs? I've never seen this symbol before. So if you know, let me know. And this is just all mixed. It has feathers. These stones. And a gold chain. There's an earring caught. And some gold spacer beads or findings, whatever you want to call those. And a lobster claw clasp. It's not tarnished, really. Well, wait. This chain is a little bit, well, it's not tarnished, but the tone is gone slightly. Not really gone, but it's not too bad, though. But I'll have to look that up because I'm not sure. Well, this is pretty. I don't know what that is. Oh, never mind. The paint came off. So that one's no good. It's pretty, though. So that's going in the craft box. So far, this is not the best, but that's all right. I'm, I'm being optimistic. 
Look at this necklace. This has a $15 price tag on it. Look. Wait a minute. And it has a tag. Coro. Oh, that's a good. Wait, does that say Coro? No, never mind. It says something. I'll look at it. Hold on. Let me get this untwisted so you guys can see. Hold on. Sorry. I just want you to be able to see it. But it's really twisted, so I won't hold you up. But anyway, look at all those. They're plastic. So they're basically imitation crystals. And um, let me read the tag. The tag says, oh, it's Talbots. Talbots. Man, I thought that was Coro. That would have been cool. But it's really dirty. I'll have to wash that. Because I don't think I can damage the plastic. This is going in the craft box. Oh, this is a pretty bracelet. Look at this one. Ooh. Look at that. Green stones. Are they Peridot? They might be Peridot. I don't know if this has anything written on it. Let me take the clasp off. That's in decent shape, too. That's really pretty. I don't see anything marked. Do you guys? That's in really good condition. I'll have to look at that further. But see, my gem tester is not working. I'm trying to get another one. So when I do, I'll be able to test the stones. They are cool though. So if anybody's interested in that, I'm gonna measure it. It is about seven and a half inches. That is actually really, really nice. I don't know what it, it has something between the stones. What is it? I don't know, it's just the silver. Um, the silver tone findings. That's a shame. I was hoping this would be marked. But anyway, it's cute. So if you're interested, there's that one. All right. I have a lot of little things here. Here is a metal necklace. I don't see a mark on this one. No. It's just a silver tone and beaded necklace. There's that. You might like that. Here's a butterfly ring. I don't think that's verdigris. It almost looks like paint. I could be wrong. It might be verdigris. Yeah. And it's like a bronze color. Or brass. Maybe brass. I don't think there's anything written in it. But I'll look. So there's a butterfly ring. Here is a brass colored, or I guess that's brass. And it's missing a stone. And these move. Oh, look, there's a cameo. 
kind of cool. I wonder what. I'm seeing if anything's written on it. Nope. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's fun. If I can find the loose stone, I'll glue it. Mm, let's see. This must go with the other bracelet. That's going in the craft bag. Unless somebody wants these. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine. All right, come on. Here's a black rose. There's some tone loss to this ring, but that looks kind of like Bakelite. I don't know how old that is. That's kind of cute. Let's see. See? That's actually cute. Here is a red rose ring. And that's painted. And it's metal. But it's missing a lot of paint. So there's that. Here is another ring that has some tone loss. And the stone's not cold. It's just a costume ring. There's that. Here's a shell bracelet. Stretchy. Not too bad. Um, I don't know about this one. That's going in the craft box. Here's a uh, little cloisonne bracelet. And it's, well, it's not broken, it's just come or detached, wait a minute. It has a little toggle clasp. That's cute. That has a name on it. Let's see what this says, Gina. I know it says Jordan. I don't know if that means, wait, oh. It says Sterling, oh, that's surprising, look at that. I didn't expect that, look. I don't know if you can see that, wait. That says Jordan. And that says 925 Sterling, but it's hard to see it. I can't focus it. Anyway, so there's that one. Wait. I know you guys don't need to see that, but I'm just wondering why my camera won't focus. Wait. There you go. Sterling. 925. And here are the beads. I'll have to look this up because some cloisonne stuff is valuable. And see it has clear beads between each cloisonne bead. That's pretty. So that's a good find. Let's see, what are these? Even if I find one thing that pays for the box, I'll be satisfied. These are going in the craft box. And I don't even know what to say about that, so I won't. So it's going in there. Here is a beaded bracelet that's misshapen. Seen better days. Look at the inside. Look at that. That has to be glued. I can glue that. But it looks, it's really misshapen. It looks like it was handmade. But that's interesting. It's, of course, it's missing a pearl. Oh, no, wait. No, it's not. That's complete. So I'll, I'll have to glue that. It's just a little bit misshapen. You can actually shape it however you want. So that's interesting. We got that one. Kid, what are you doing? Here is a resin necklace. 
with a footprint and it looks like a paw print next to it. It's hard to tell through the camera. Uh, oh my God, my cat's gone crazy. Here's two little ball earrings. Did I show you the yellow necklace? I think I did. I don't know. I've done so many takes of this video, I can't remember. But they go with this. It doesn't have a maker's mark. There's that. And here's another earring. Mm, here is a faux turquoise necklace. All right, come on. Here's that one. And it, it's just like a lot of other necklaces I see. Here's a beaded bracelet and it has a name. Grimish, Aramish, Aramish. I've heard of Aramish before. These feel like crystals. No, they're probably not. I don't know, but they're white and black. I'll look up Aramish, see what that is. So I got two decent pieces and then the best bracelet and the pendant. Here is a dolphin pendant and it's not marked. So there's that. What's this? Oh, that's the other earring. It's going in the craft box. Ooh, here's a pearl earring. Wonder if that's any good. It's cold. That might be sterling, but I'll look into that later. Ooh, here's another statement ring. That's awesome. What is on that? The stone is cold. Look at that one. That says something inside. Mm, let's see what this one says. It says, oh, it says art. And there's a design on the band. Can you see that? That's interesting. I like that one. Oh, look, it's surrounded by a snake. Can you see that? Wait, look at that. Of course it's missing an eye. Oh, man, I gotta get some little stones. Wait, why is this doing this? Hold on. Let me try to focus better. Sorry guys. <laughs> Hold on. Oh man, that is so cool. I have to see if I can find a little stone for that. The stones are pink. Actually, there's one, two stones missing. Ah. Oh. Hopefully they're in this lot here. I hope they're like scattered here. But I will get two stones for that because that's awesome. So we got that. Let's see what else. There's a little earring. It's a flower. Um, let's see what this is. There's a gold tone necklace. Oh, you know what it, they did? Oh no, it's a pendant. That's pretty. That's pretty, but I don't think it's gold or anything. Wait a minute. Let me check. Let me check this. Can't get it. I hate these chains. There. It's a very thin chain. It is really nice though. And all the stones are there, I think. It is probably 
16 inches, but that's pretty. So, that's not bad. So I'll put that over here with the good stuff. Here is a glass bead bracelet with a flower. That's cute. Oh, that one has a name too. That's pretty. Let me look at that name. It says, ooh, Danforth, oh, Danforth Pewter. And these are all art glass. That's a good one too. See, I got some good stuff, even though this is a small lot. I got some cool rings. I'm trying to find the other one. Oh. All right. Let's see what else we have. This is pretty. It's just, oh, it's missing a stone. Sad. But that one is not marked, but that's cool. That looks like an ankle bracelet because it's long. I bet you that is. These look kind of like onyx. I don't know, I'll put that aside. Here's a single earring that's going in the craft bag. Uh, here's a black stone bracelet and it is cold. It has a blue bead. There's that. We have another stretch bracelet with a gold colored bead. Um, I'm not sure what this went to. It reminds me of a keychain. At least it's on a keychain loop. And then here's some earrings, so that's different. I have lots of little bits here. Here's a pair of seed bead earrings. They're pretty. Multicolored with gold seed beads. Gold and brown. Here is a necklace. Little black and silver tone beads. And that's, it's really light. It's so small though. I don't know. So that's not the best. Mm, there's another beaded bracelet. Very sparkly. That looks like crystal. But the stretch is not good. So I could just, I don't know, sell the beads with the bead lot. This is really cute. Look at this little earring. I thought that was a brooch at first. That's big. I wonder if I have another one here. Probably not. If I find it, I'll be happy, but I don't think so. Here's another ring. Got a lot of rings in this one. And the stone's not cold, but that's cool too. There's no name on that. It's just a costume ring, but that's cool. Pretty. And that's probably about a six, six and a half, maybe. I can't remember what my finger size is. Uh, here's this earring. I have the match. Color's interesting. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way, but I like it. Looks like native. Oh, look, they're Native American. Oh, that's awesome. They're made, I don't know if they're metal. Yeah. I thought it was shell on the back at first. That, they're awesome. So we got those, but I don't have the backs. I have extra backings, but I got a lot of little stuff here. See what else we have. Might be something good in here. Sometimes you find the best stuff at the bottom. These are pretty. 
Look at that. They're really sparkly. Let's see what they are. I don't think they're silver, but I'm going to check. No. They're sparkly, though. I got both, but they have different backs. They're cool. So I got that. Oh, man. There's so many tiny things here. Here's a little costume ring with uh, turquoise colored beads. It's not bad. Small. So it's another costume ring. Let's see. Here's another one. Costume, but that's in good shape. It's not bad, and that's probably about it's probably about a six. I can measure all the rings though. So if anybody is interested, let me know. Uh, oh come on, just give me a good earring. I hate it when I get down to the bottom because there's all these little bits. Oh, here's a bracelet. Look at that one. It says made in China. But it's in good shape. Actually, it's in perfect shape. So that's a hinged bracelet. Now, I don't know if the made in China sticker was meant to be on this or not but probably yeah well, I don't know maybe not but that's pretty and that one let me see wait a minute I don't usually wear this kind of bracelet but see it's actually nice put that over there I just want to find the matches to these. This was with something. I don't know what. I imagine it was on a necklace. That'll go in the craft bag. I don't think it's silver. I don't know, though. I'll have to check that. Here's a little earring that matches this ring. But it's the plastic feels different. Yeah, we got... Tons of bits here. Here's some dice earrings. Actually, not dice, just dots. Glass. So there's those. Man, I'm getting down to the nitty gritty here. There's a little faux pearl earring. There's the other pearl earring. Oh no, they don't match. Here is a gold colored earring. I don't think it's gold, but it's in good shape. Of course, I don't see the other one. There's a hoop. Here is a pearl earring. Why are there so many single earrings? Okay, explain that. What is that supposed to be? Do you think it's dyed halite? I do not know. But I have both of those. Here's a faux turquoise earring. Here's a little pendant. That's cute. Just a pink flower. Oh, come on. Here's a pair of black metal earrings that are going into the craft bag. Oh, here's the other earring. Kit, go on. Go, 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 go. Here. Do you want a treat? Here, girl. Come on. Here you go. All right. There's a black earring. 
Gold tone. Man, I wish I could find the other one of these. Here's the other pearl. So I got those two. This is a cool one. It's just silver tone with some white beads. I have both those. Those are cool. So I got those. Oh, look, I have the other one. The other flower. That's pretty nice. Uh, if that was real gold, that would be awesome. Let's see. Here's a pendant. That looks old. It's like a leaf on there. But it's not anything. Mm, I don't know if I see anything else here, guys. It's just little pieces. I have both of those. They're silver tone, but I don't think they're silver. Yeah, I got all these little bits. Well, I don't think there's anything else here that anyone would be interested in. There's like little yin yang. I don't think I have the other ones here. Here's a pendant. Gold tone. I think that's it. I don't know what that is. I mean, I know it's a ring, but it's on a wire. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's strange. A little bit. So you got that. And let's see if there's anything else. Oh, here's the other flower. Oh wait, never mind. That's the original one. Yeah, I think that's about it. Here's a brown earring. Yeah, these are all tiny. And if I find anything else good in here, then maybe I'll do a short about it. But I don't see anything. So I guess I'll end this video. Um, oh wait. Hold on, got a couple more things. This is cool. It's not really. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video. Um, I'm gonna try to get another box and then do a long one. I know this was kind of long, but here's some more earrings. I have both and they're not marked. I have some watermelons. Does anybody want a pair of watermelon earrings? <laughs> so that's really it. And these red ones. Anyway, if you saw anything that you're interested in here, leave me a message. These are cool. Like a brown stone. Um, yeah, leave me a message, like I said, and if you're interested in anything, we can work something out. But other than that, this was not the best. However, I did find a couple things that were decent, at least in my own opinion. Oh, wait, here's one more thing. What does that say? It says something. Um... You read that? Does that say Tiffany? Hold on. This says Tiffany Tiffany and Co. Please return to Tiffany and Co. New York nine two five. What the heck? That can't be. Hold on. Why would you have an earring that says please please return to Tiffany and Co. Explain that. 
and it's really dirty. I will have to check those, but I doubt that they're real. If they're real, I will be totally shocked. That was a surprise. Anyway, <clears throat> I'll keep you guys posted. Unless you want me to test them right here. You know what? I'm going to test them. Let's check this out. Let's see if it disappoints and it doesn't even feel like silver. But maybe it is. I will be shocked. Oh, shoot. I got it on there. Not looking too good. Wait. No. You know what? I got my hopes up. That's sad. Why would you do that to me? Goodwill. But anyway. There's those. So I'll clean them up. And... If anybody would be interested in those, which I doubt, let me know. Oh, man, I was really hoping. I was really hoping. Yeah, these definitely are not real. And they're not cleaning up too well. See? Wah, wah. So sad. I got my hopes up. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm so sad. Oh, well. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I'm going to get another box. And I will post another video soon. I'm going to try to order one today. So you guys are great. Especially anybody that sat through the whole video. <laughs> Like I said, I will post another one soon, as soon as I get another box. And I might put some lots together to sell on YouTube as well. I just haven't done it. So you guys have a good life until next time. And come back to watch me. To watch Coffee, Jewelry, and Jokes. And hopefully find some enjoyment out of it. Have a good whatever. <laughs> I hate the ending of these because I never know how to end the videos. But anyway, thanks again for watching. Bye.